Hello plant friends. Um, so uh, I'm here to announce uh, my intention of war. Um, I fully intend to go to war in the premises of my flat. Uh, what is my war against you ask? Well it is against the insurgence of the thrips. Um, so I have had a slight thrips disaster. Um, I think I might have had it for longer than I can bear to acknowledge to myself um, and I think I might also have been in denial about it for a little while so um, and when I say a little while I mean like a couple of weeks because I mean once you know that you have thrips it's basically like going into battle um, and knowing that you're going to lose a few soldiers along the way. So, <laughs> um, unfortunately, uh, in my denial, I'm fairly sure that I have probably lost more soldiers than I needed to lose, but, um, oh well, it's okay. We are going to power through, we are going to declare war, and we are going to begin the war. So, <laughs> I've been doing some research, um, so what I've done so far is I have uh, quarantined some of my plants, um, I will show you exhibit A, my poor Anthurium clarinervium. I mean, considering it is suffering a devastating uh, infection infestation of thrips, um, it's actually putting out a flower, uh, which is really bizarre, um, but I don't know. There was two very, very unhealthy bright yellow leaves, I'll put a picture in there, <laughs> um, and I've cut them off. Um, so I have covered that in neem oil and um, soap, uh, dish soap. So this is my attack weapon number one. So uh, this is the neem spray. <laughs> um, and what this is made of is uh, one and a half teaspoons of neem oil and, well, it did used to say one teaspoon of dish soap. Um, I use the Wilco uh eco ecological dish soap i think it's called um because basically it's not harmful to aquatic life it's eco-friendly etc etc so i mean i feel like if i'm going to be putting any kind of soap on my plants i want it to be relatively not plant killing um so <laughs> i feel like that's a given right um and i've also got uh distilled water in here well distilled uh bottled water um in here so i've been spraying my plants uh, head to toe, I have been giving them a, a severe bath, like a kind of, I don't know, an infection star bath. Um, so I've been doing that for the last two days, um, once a day. Um, and I also, I watched a really good video um, from Hannah, the tropical plant addict. That's right. Tropical, tropical house plant addict. Oh, crap. I'm so bad at remembering people's names full stop, uh, let alone YouTube names. But she's called Hannah and she's amazing and I will link uh, that video below in the description. Um, and she has suggested um, thrip killer mites, <laughs> which are predator mites, uh, which are Amblesius cucumeris. Um, I will also put that um, as a little annotation in here, but um, you might be able to read it anyway. Um, so yeah, this is from dragonfly.co.uk, although I actually bought mine from Amazon, which cost, uh, I think it was £25, which wasn't too bad actually, um, but I think you can get it cheaper actually on their website. Um, so what these are, um, are, um, mites that will kill and eat your thrips <laughs> um and what comes so these are i think it's a fifty thousand mite um box bottle box you know what i mean this whatever this is tube um and i believe that should be enough to uh deal with my plants i don't really know they don't really give an estimate of how many how much of this you need um but i am definitely going to be giving my plants a good dowsing um, and I'm I don't want to have to get more because it's expensive but if I have to I will because it's more expensive to lose my plants 
and I can't believe that we're at this stage. Can you tell I'm stressed? <laughs> um, so they they give you uh, this handy leaflet. Um, so I'm just going to read it out because I think it'll be useful. Um, so it says, biological control of thrip. Um, so predatory mite Amblesius cucumeris used for the control of thrip larvae and eggs. Uh, predatory mites will also eat some other mites, honeydew and pollen. So it's very important not um, to uh, leave these outdoors and not um, let them out uh, in poll pollination. Is it like pollination season? I don't know if that's even a thing, but basically any time that you could affect bees, you don't want to be doing it when you could affect bees. Personally, I wouldn't be using this outside. Um, but I know that some people need to. Um, so yeah, just keep that in mind and do your research if you do need to use it outdoors. Um, where was I? Um, each container will release thousands of predators which feed on the first two larval stages of thrip and also white fly eggs. So that's why it is important um, that you um, use the neem oil and insecticidal soap mixture um, initially on your plants to kill off any adults because uh, that's what's known as a contact insecticide although it's not it's not an insecticide per se it's not a chemical um, it kills the bug on contact uh, however it doesn't um, remain on the plant it doesn't remain in the soil so it doesn't kill off anything that it doesn't come into contact with um, after the first spray so that is why you want to do that first because the biological control will not as in the predatory mite will not uh, kill the adults it will only kill the first two larval stages of thrip so um, direction for use um, turn and shake the tube gently before use to evenly distribute mites through throughout material so there is some material on there uh, in here so that they can cling on to it I'm not totally sure how that works but <laughs> um, and then it says disperse material manually onto leaves throughout the crop or scatter the material in little heaps. Um, when introduced on rock wall blocks, don't even know what that is, um, the heaps keep on producing predatory mites for weeks. Hmm. Uh, mites leave the heap to disperse onto the crop, which is what we want. So I think I will probably be more likely to go for the heaps <laughs> than the leaves because because I'm doing it indoors, I don't know where this is going to scatter, but thankfully it's pet safe and it's human safe. So it's not going to cause any harm to either you or your pets or your children, <laughs> if you have those. <laughs> um, and then finally, uh, we've got um, storage and handling. Place on plants as soon as possible after receipt. Uh, do not use insecticides once introduced, obviously, because they will kill off the mites. Um, and relative humidity should be above 75%. That's going to be a little difficult inside some people's homes. For me, it's not an issue because I have a damp problem. <laughs> um, although humidity and warmth ideally would go hand in hand as we all come on to. Temperatures should be above 20 degrees C for some hours of the day. Um, so for some people, uh, that won't be possible. For me, it's unlikely I'm going to get above 20 degrees C, but you never know. Um, I'm going to try my damn best, okay? We're at war. <laughs> We've got to do our best. <laughs> So uh, that is what I'm going to do now. Um, and I will keep you posted on the persuasion of the thrips. We want them gone, okay? But I've got a very big plant collection and I don't know if that's possible. So um, I have isolated my very brand new Monstera Thai constellation, which I bought slightly before realizing I had thrips. And that is like literally in a tent where nothing can get in. Uh, because I'm terrified and it's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen so um, I do not want that dying as, as well as many other of my plants but some of them are a lot more replaceable than that one so uh, <laughs> it was a bad time for me to find this like holy grail plant but never mind um, so yes wish me luck let me know uh, in the comments if you have had any issues with thrips um, I We'll do some updates. Um, I'm thinking that this might be an interesting series um, to do. So this is my introduction to the war um, and I will maybe do some more war updates. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm really stressed about it. <laughs> I really want my plant babies to live. <laughs> uh, 
um yeah let me know in the comments if you've got any tips or hints or suggestions tell me your horror stories tell me your positive stories i need some both because i need to be afraid enough to carry on okay but i also need to, some encouragement that not all my plants are going to die so let me know how that goes or went for you um and if you are here because you are also battling thrips you're not alone okay we are in a bad situation but we're gonna get through it okay thank you guys and thanks for watching and subscribe and like if you like this video and you want to see more about my thrip wall